Subscription products let you create products with recurring payments. You can use subscription products to create product of the month clubs, weekly service subscriptions, or even yearly software billing packages. In this video, you'll learn how to add subscription products to your WooCommerce store. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. There are many subscription plugins that will do the job, but we'll be using WooCommerce subscriptions. After downloading and installing the plugin, you'll get two new product data options in the Add New Product page. Simple Subscription and Variable Subscription. To add a simple subscription product, select the simple subscription option. Except the general tab, there are barely any changes in the other ones. Tick the virtual and downloadable options here if your product is virtual or downloadable. You can set the recurring price using a fixed amount and the frequency of its billing. You can charge in terms of days, weeks, months, or years, in increments of 1 through 6. Using the next option, you can choose to expire the subscription automatically after a fixed number of time periods. If you want customers to be charged at the outset of the subscription, you can determine a sign-up fee too. Offering a free trial can be a good way to get customers to start using your product. The free trial can be in terms of days, weeks, months, or years. And you can schedule a sale for the subscription product too. In the Advanced tab, you can limit the number of subscriptions a customer can purchase. Apart from this, you'll need to provide the basic details such as the title, description, and product image. When you're done, you can publish the subscription product. It will appear like this in the final shop page. A variable subscription product allows you to provide more options for your shoppers. It's similar to the simple subscription product, however you'll need to select the variable subscription option in the product data drop-down. The general tab containing the price options will disappear and a variations tab will be added. We need to create attributes to be able to create variations. Head to the attributes tab. Here, select custom product attribute and click add. Below, give your attribute a name and enter the value in this field. Make sure to separate the values using a vertical bar. Then, enable the used for variations option here and click save attributes. Go back to the variations tab to create the variations. Here, select create variations from all attributes in the drop down and click go. Confirm the prompts. Expand an option to start editing it. Now, you can set a product image, provide an SKU, choose downloadable and virtual product, and even manage stock at the variation level. This is also where you'll set the monthly subscription price and other details like expiry period, sign up fee, and free trial. Do the same for the other variation as well. When you're done, publish the product. Shoppers will then get to choose from various options for the subscription product. Managing these subscriptions is easy. The subscription section under the WooCommerce tab lets you monitor all the subscriptions in a single place and take actions like put on hold and cancel. In the plugin settings page, you can customize how subscriptions are renewed. Below, you can choose to allow customers to upgrade or downgrade their subscription plans. You can also synchronize all the subscription renewals to a specific day of the week, month, or year. This might be useful to stores that sell monthly gift boxes on the first of each month, for example. You can even allow customers to buy multiple subscription products simultaneously and let shoppers buy a $0 initial payment subscription product without providing a payment method. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.